Hi guys and welcome to yet another video about how the Red Game 2 works. Now this time I'm going to show you how RAM and registers work. As you may or may not know, these green and pink red-ish color control RAM. Red is save, green is load. Load. Save. Save. So basically these wires go all the way down here. This is also three stages, or two stages, depending on which one it's going to. So, yeah. Let's follow load first. So, these wires then go all the way into here, into the first stage of, um, well, the RAM controller. Wait, let's check something. This over here is what's basically what happens here. RAM and ROM select bits. Choose between RAM and ROM. Or RAM and registers. Basically, it goes into this relay thing. And then either goes to the registers there. Or to the RAM there. So basically, this thing acts like a split. When saving, it's almost precisely the same. Except it has this thing over here. Or somewhere here. Here it is. It basically makes you save only temporarily. It's connected to the save clock, which I showed you in the previous video. The RAM save clock also works with registers. I just called it RAM because there's more RAM than registers. So yeah, that goes into here because of the hair, and then for RAM. So that was stage one. Stage two happens here the RAM controller. There's two RAM controllers, one for stage one and two. It basically sorts out the lines and stuff, prepares it for the decoder. It's basically pre-decoder. And stage three, so once it's gone through all this, it goes into the RAM decoder. So RAM decoder, decoder B, RAM decoder A is here. It's basically a massive decoder. Custom bolts took ages. Um, it did something wrong, which is what this thing's for here. And then it goes into these RAM cells. Basically, data from the registers flings all the way around here. And then if you need to save to someone, something, one of these lines activates. And what that generally does, is it saves to that RAM. So that's what the temporary beat is for, to quickly save. It then loads it onto these lines, inverted, and flings them down the registers. Also, it goes up this data bypasser, so it can save to RAM as well. So save RAM, to RAM, more RAM, you know, in case you want to do that. I never had to do that, but I'm pretty sure that eventually someone will have to do that, so I'll put that there. Uh, you can't save from register to register. There's something to prevent you in there. It's where is it? Where is it? So many wires. Here it is. Crash handler error zero one. It's actually error zero two because we got go to errors. I forgot about that when I was building this. Basically, if you try to save and load from a register, it'll send a crash signal. Like, yeah, crash handler. This chooses how to handle the crash. Ignore it and. Reset. Stop. As well. Reset. Uh, yeah, anyways. I just want to mention not important. Um, yeah, so it goes into here. Three stages there. For registers, it's a tad different. Almost completely different from here on. This goes down into here. Into this thing. Which is the decoder. So we're quickly skipping to stage three. We don't need a decoder. Pre decoder because this is a really simple decoder. And then this thing branches all the way back there, and all the way back there, to control all the registers. We have the same down here, right here. Controls the bottom registers. This, I believe, is safe to, let's load from, so this is input for the computer, that's output. To the GPU, when the screen, and whatnot. So, yeah, that's basically how it works. Oh, not basically. Quite advanced, actually. That's why I'm giving you 
this video. So, yeah, that's function controls. We'll turn it on and I'll try to show you how it's working. It's going to be very hard. But, I'll try. So, yeah. Turn it on. Uh, wait a second, we gotta do for this. Ram control. Oh, I hate these doors. Oh, screw this. Um, so yeah, these little registers load from. Shouldn't be doing much. It's already loaded from, I'm guessing. There's a RAM. Busy doing its RAMy stuff. Data's getting loaded onto these registers. Probably into the ALU. I believe it's already finished. Right, game's way too fast for me. Yeah, it's finished. So, yeah, I could I couldn't even fly here in time. I'm guessing, or it's doing something with the ALU right now. No, it's not doing anything. So let's try that again. I spent all my time trying to get through this door. Maybe we'll watch the ram. Oh, wait, screw that door. Um, oh. Yeah, you can see it's loading from this RAM thing. It's quickly loaded from the LU. Probably a defect. And now it's loading from the LU proper. The sum's done. Lags as it tries to save to RAM. For there, you can see, right there. And once again, I'm too fast for the computer. Yeah, finished again. Let's try to watch the RAM instead of register system. So here comes the RAM save requests. And what's it doing now? Oh, wait a second, and input any number. Well, then nothing's gonna go through the system, so it's not gonna be much interesting stuff to watch. So there's nothing in the system. Okay. So, guys, let's do that again. Let's do 2 plus 2. Lag. Turn it on. At least got something to compute with now. Okay, so it loads it from here, saves it over into the RAM, here you can see the number 2, saves it into RAM, when that's done, make sure everything's computed, it stores the second number, which is also 2 because I overrided that, it loads number, or should load the number, there it is loading the number, the number 2, should load it again, or if it says it already, wait, 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 now it's, what's it doing now? It's loading for the registers, I'm guessing. Uh, two again. I don't know what it's doing now. It involves the number two, that's all I know. I'm guessing it's done computing. I don't know what this number two is from. Let's see. Oh, it's still loading from here. Let's see if it's done. Four, yeah. Again, this computer's way too fast for me. Yeah, maybe I should do manual tick next time. Well, I guess I'm almost out of time. Well, there's no time limit, but yeah. So, thanks for watching. Hope you understood what was happening in the system. Sorry for me being all confused because the computer is going way too fast for me. I'm going to slow down the clock next time. But yeah, there's a manual tick button here. It basically emulates the clock. Makes everything happen step by step so you understand it. Yeah, again, thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Hope you learned something about the red game or how to build your own computer.
And, uh, yeah. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever.